Okay, in this video today, we're going to be solving inequalities. So we have two numbers, 20 and 10, okay? 20 is my bigger number. We need to have the sign so it eats the bigger number. So now it says 20 greater than 10, duh, okay? Now I want you to add 3 to each number. Add a 3 to your 20, and it's 23. Add a 3 to your 10, and it's 13, okay? Well, it'd have to eat the 23, so the sign is still greater than. It's the same sign. So the sign doesn't switch. So the sign stayed the same when you add. Now go up to your 20 and 10 and subtract 3 from each number. That would be 17, and subtract 3 from there would be 7. Well, 17 is a bigger number. We open the sign so that it eats the bigger number. Open part of the sign goes to the bigger number. 17 greater than 7. It, the sign did not change. Okay, So when I add and subtract, the sign doesn't change. Now divide each number by 5. Take 20 divided by 5, it's 4. Take 10 divided by 5, it's 2. 4 is still bigger. It's still a greater than sign. 4 is greater than 2, so the sign didn't change. Now I want you to divide by negative 5. Well, then it would just be negative 4 and negative 2. We get the same answers, they're just negative. Now, negative 2 is the bigger number, so now the sign has to open or eat the negative 2. So negative 4 is less than negative 2. Now the sign changed, okay? The sign, put change. The sign will change when you divide both sides by a negative number, okay? Not by a positive, though. Okay, now multiply each one by 2. 20 times 2 is 40, and 10 times 2 is 20. Okay, eat the 40. Sign didn't change from here to here. Now if I multiply by negative 2, I'm going to get negative 40 and negative 20. Now negative 20 is bigger, and it eats the bigger number. Okay, and that is a sign that changed. Sign changed. So, sign changes when you divide both sides by a negative or multiply both sides by a negative. And that's important to remember when solving these. Now, our job here is to solve the inequality. That means find all the possible values for x. Okay, Every number x can be. Now, we solve the inequality very similar to how we solve an equation, but we have to pay attention to whether that sign would flip around. So this, this will, instead of having x plus 3 equals negative 6, we have less than or equal to negative 6. Okay, Okay. so I go to the x side right there, make a wall. You have a positive 3 that you need to take to 0. You're going to minus 3. Now, when I minus or plus, it doesn't matter which one, okay, when I add or, add or minus, we keep the sign the same. Because on that previous page, when I added and subtracted on the first two boxes, the sign didn't change. Minus and add, you keep the sign the same. So keep the sign the same, and then do your minus 3 from both sides. Negative 6 minus 3 is negative 9. Remember, think of a number line. You're at negative 6, and you go back into the left 3. Negative 7, negative 8, negative 9. Okay, now you've solved it. Now you need to put this on a graph, on a number line. And that variable has to come before the number. So 0, negative 9. Circle, you would close the circle because you can be equal to negative 9, and you can be less than negative 9. That's a less than sign. That's on the board. Okay. Now, when you do a number line, I'd like you to copy down your solution. Just this x is less than or equal to negative 9 above the graph, please. And that's the answer. Okay, So x can be equal to negative 9 and anything less than negative 9. Okay. Now, to show you how that works, okay. pick a number less than negative 9. Let's say negative 11. So you don't need to write this down. Just watch. So I'll pick negative 11. Well, if I add the negative 11 and the 3, that's negative 8, and it's eating the bigger number, okay? So I know that that works, okay? If it would have been eating this number, I know I did it wrong. Okay, next problem. Negative 3x greater than or equal to negative 9, okay? So the x is on this side. Mark your operations. You have times right there, so you want to circle times, okay? So all I have is the times negative 3, so I need to divide by negative 3. 
Now when I multiply and divide, if it's by a negative, which negative 3 is, we need to switch the sign. Okay. So the sign will switch because I'm about to divide each side by a negative number, which on the front page, when I divided both sides by a negative number, the sign flipped, divided by a negative. Okay. So we have x and then negative 9 divided by negative 3 is 3. Okay, so I put 0, I put 3, we circle, fill it, close it because it's equal to, and then it's, that's a less than sign, so it could be any number that way. Okay. Okay, so pick a number less than 3, let's pick 1. Okay, so it was negative 3 times x greater than or equal to negative 9. I'll put 1 in for x. A number going that way. So negative 3 times 1 is negative 3. So I have negative 3 greater than or equal to negative 9. Negative 3 is a bigger number and it's eating the negative 3 just like it is supposed to. So I know I did that right. Okay, negative 6 less than or equal to 2x. Okay. x is on this side of the inequality with a times 2. Okay. So times 2, we're going to divide by 2. Now I'm dividing, but unlike here, I'm dividing by a positive, so I will keep the sign the same. Okay. So even though I'm dividing, it's going to be by both sides by a positive 2. I don't care what that sign is. It's about the number that I'm going to divide by, Okay, 2. So negative 6 divided by 2 is negative 3, and here we have x. Okay. Now, before I put that on the number line, though, I need to revert, change the order. I need to reorder this so that the variable x comes first, and the negative 3 comes second, and then the sign flips. Okay. So the possible values for x are greater than or equal to negative 3. So greater than goes this way. Okay. So x greater than or equal to negative 3. So if I go to the original thing, negative 6 is less than or equal to 2 times x. I'll pick a number greater than negative 3. Let's go, I'll go negative 1. So that's going to be negative 2. Negative 2 is the bigger number, and it eats the bigger number. So I did it right. Okay. Okay, next problem, x divided by negative 2 is greater than or equal to 6. So we have an x on this side, okay? The operation's division, okay? So we want to circle division just like we would multiplication. So if I have, I have, if I have division on this side, to undo division, we times by negative 2. Now when you times, okay, when you're going to times, you're going to want to Pay attention or whether you have to flip the sign. Now I'm timesing and it's by a negative, so I will switch the sign. Okay. If I was timesing by a positive 2, I wouldn't switch the sign, but I'm going to times each side by a negative 2. Okay, so that cancels, and again the sign switches. And then you have x, 6 times negative 2 is negative 12. Okay. Now, variables first, number second, so we don't have to reorder it. Circle, fill it, okay? And that's a less than sign, so it would go this way. So x less than or equal to negative 12. Okay, I'm going to do these three, and then that's going to be a wrap. Okay, negative 2 times the quantity x minus 2 is greater than or equal to 10. First, I have to do the distributive property because we have a parenthesis. When you distribute, we always keep the sign. You never switch the sign when you're distributing. Okay, So keep the sign while you're distributing. Make that 2 plus negative. Okay? So negative 2 times x, that would be n negative 2 times negative 2. So negative 2 times x is negative 2x. Negative 2 times negative 2 is positive 4. So plus 4. And then we have 10 over there. Now I can make my wall. That's the only x I have. Okay. So we've got times negative 2 and plus 4. So I need to minus 4. Now when I plus or minus, we always keep the sign. Then I need to divide by negative 2. When I'm dividing or multiplying with a negative, which 2 is a negative, we need to switch the sign. Okay. 
So the first step, when I minus the 4, I keep the sign. When I divide by the negative 2, I'm going to switch the sign. Okay, So I set it up kind of just before I do anything. So minus 4, minus 4, that's 6. And now when I go to divide by both sides by that negative value, okay, the sign flips. X now is less than or equal to negative 3. Okay, so that's a less than sign. It goes this way. Okay, so x less than or equal to negative three. Okay, now if I wanted to test that answer, I'll pick a number that's less than negative three. I'll say negative five. So negative two times x plus negative two. I'll just make that plus negative greater than or equal to ten. So I'm going to put negative five in for x. That would be a number that way. So first I would do the parentheses, it would be negative 7, negative 2 times negative 7 is 14. So we'd have 14 greater than or equal to 10, it eats a bigger number, so I know I'm probably correct. Plugging in the actual value of negative 3 makes these equal, okay, so yeah. Okay, 5x minus 2 is less than or equal to negative 8x plus 4, okay, so here's the sign. Now you don't have to distribute, but you have like terms that you need to combine. When you're combining the like terms, you always keep the sign, okay? Because combining like terms is adding or subtracting. Now they're on opposite sides, so we need to mark the smaller one, the negative 8x, and take that to 0 by adding 8x. Then add 8x to your 5x. So we have 13x minus 2. Sign's not going to change because we keep the sign, and then 24. Okay, now, that's a negative 2, so I'm going to add 2. You can write add 2 or plus 2. Sign doesn't change. That's a keep the sign. Whenever you add or minus, it's keep the sign. Then when I divide, I'm dividing by 13, but it's a positive 13, so I will keep the sign. Again, the sign will switch if you divide by a negative or multiply by a negative. I'm dividing, but it's not by a negative. Okay, so we're keeping the sign on both the steps, okay? The adding step, sign keeps on the adding step no matter what. And then I'm dividing, but it's by a positive, so the sign will stay the same. So we have x and 2. Okay, so the critical value is 2. Circle, you close the circle. I think all of these are closed in this assignment. Less than 2. So x can be any number less than 2. So pick a number less than 2, how about 1, okay? So 5x minus 2 is less than or equal to negative 8x plus 14. Remember, this means times x, so I'll put 1 in for x, okay? Any number that way. 5 times 1 minus 2, then negative 8 times 1 plus 14. So you times first, you get 5. 5 minus 2 is 3. You can make it plus negative 2, it's still 3. Over here, negative 8 times 1 is negative 8. Negative 8 plus 14 is 6. Eats a bigger number. That's good. Okay, now the next problem. We have like terms. So we're going to keep the sign. But when I look at my like terms, I don't really have a smaller one. They're equal x's. So that's when we cross them out. And we write all solution or no solution. Now, you don't check whether they're equal, okay, because you have an inequality. Look at negative 6 and 9. Positive 9 is a bigger number. Is it eating positive 9? No, it's not. So it's eating the wrong number, so that is a no solution. If it's eating the correct number, it's all solutions.